okay so let us solve this problem so what does the problem says that given differential equation so this is the differential equation that they have given us okay estimate the step size required to maintain the stability using explicit Euler's method so what you have to do you have to determine you have to find out the step size and for the next part they have said that at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 used implicit Euler method to obtain solution from t is equal to 0 to 2 using step size of 0 0.1 so this is your uh, problem so let us solve this problem so let us talk about the first part so what we want we want to calculate the step size okay now we know for the part a when you talk about explicit Euler's method we know for the system to be stable the value of step size should be between 0 to 0 and 2 divided by lambda but if you see here in this problem what should be our lambda so if you can recall in the previous lecture when we were discussing stability this was our lambda okay so if you compare this equation with this the main equation you will find out that this is nothing but the value of lambda okay so if you substitute that value of lambda in this equation that is So this comes out to be 1 into 10 raised to minus 5. So the value of h should be from 0 to 1 into 10 raised to minus 5. Okay. So now let us solve this uh, problem using implicit Euler's method. So when you talk about implicit Euler's method, if you can recall from the previous uh, video, implicit Euler is unconditionally stable that means it is going to be stable whatever value of step size you give it's always going to be stable okay so that is why there is no requirement of step size when you're solving implicit Euler's method but we if we recall what is the formula of implicit Euler's method it is so the difference between this and the explicit is that in explicit this is not there so this is explicit but when you talk about implicit this is going to be plus one plus one so there will be unknowns on both the sides of the equation so let us start uh, before that we know that this is nothing but your function of x y but uh, when you talk about x i plus one y i plus one this is going to be minus of 2000 or not 2000 is 2 raised to 2 into 10 raised to 5 into y this should be now i plus 1 plus e raised to minus x plus of x is going to be xi plus 1 minus e raised to xi plus 1 so let us substitute this here there is no need of substituting i'm just simplifying the equation even if you don't do this you are okay i think so if you do that and if you simplify you'll find out the equation that you are getting is e raised to minus x i plus 1 to h okay this is this is i didn't make a mistake here this is i it's not i plus 1 if you simplify this y i will remain on this side then this is going to be 1 plus 
okay so let us solve this so to solve this by implicit Euler method we have to remember this equation this is this equation but if you see that equation is nothing but this equation okay, I have simplified it further I am again telling you this, there is no need of further simplification I just wanted to show you that is why I simplified it you can just write it down so this is going to be xi this is going to be y i this is going to be y i plus 1 so let us start from 0 because if you see the domain is from 0 to 2 and step size is 0 0.1 so this is going to be 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 then 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 all the way to 2 okay I'm not going to solve the whole thing I'm just going to show you okay. and what is the value of y at x is equal to 0 so from initial condition at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so this is going to be 0 so now what you have to do is you have to substitute the value of uh, 0 0 in this equation and you'll get the value of y plus 1 so if you do that you'll find out the value of y plus 1 that you're getting is 0 0.90478 this y plus 1 for the next iteration okay uh, i'm sorry i did a mistake here okay i'm very very sorry so if you see in this equation this is x i plus 1 so understand one thing you are going to substitute y i and what is x i plus 1 0 0.1 so this is very important that you need to understand i'm really sorry i made that mistake so if you substitute 0 0.1 and 0 in this equation what you are going to get is nothing but 0 0.904788 for the next iteration this yi plus 1 becomes yi so you can write down this as 88 now again for the next iteration what you are going to do you are going to put yi then what 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 else you are going to do you are going to put xi no you are going to put xi plus 1 understand this is very important that means you are going to put 0 0.2 so if you do that the value that you are getting that you will be get, getting is something like this so for the next iteration this becomes again for the next iteration this is going to be your y i this is going to be your x i plus 1 so substitute this value this value in this equation the value that you will be getting is 0 0.740818 for next iteration this is going to be and again for the next iteration you are going to substitute this you are going to substitute this uh, in this equation the value that you will be getting is 0 0.670032 and for the next iteration you are going to write down then you are going to substitute this and this I am repeating it again the value that will be getting is 0 0.60531 0 0.60631 and you will go on doing the calculation okay so once you do all the calculation you, you will find out that the graph that you will be getting is going to be something like this okay starting from 0 to 2 starting from 0 to 2 and this is the plot that you will be getting for this particular problem so this is your implicit Euler method now the next problem what we are going to do we are going to solve a system of equation system of differential equation using implicit Euler's method 